I picked up the wrong thing. No, no, no! Balls! I must have to go back. So, it's my birthday today. Hooray! Going to a boot sale. Hooray! Do you know what that means? Birthday and boot sale. It means not much difference really. It's pitch black. Clocks went forward, so I've lost an hour. And it's a bit damp, a bit damp in the air. So I've got the Gore-Tex uh, trainers on. That's about it really. We'll get to the boot sale, buy stuff cheap, to hopefully sell online for a profit. That's my full-time business. That's what I'm filming this for. Hopefully find some really cool, unique stuff that we've never seen before. And yeah, we'll go from there. I'll see you in the field. So I'm here, and we're starting off in the dark. This time last week, it was bright. I'm here just after six, but clocks go forward and I forget it actually gets dark again for a bit. But I'll try and film a bit in the dark. Torches out. Bit of vintage snake. I don't think you can see. Bit mucky. That vintage Nike tennis trainers. Got that vintage Nike tennis court in there. What size are they? Three and a half. They could be cleaned up. I can only find one shoe though. Oh dear. TRT TV. I'll leave it there. Being more particular with electronics. Looking aerial. Alex McQueen's. One way to tell is the punch holes on the side aren't equal. They're not too bad, this one. No, they're not equal. Nah. Pretty sure they're not real. How much on a dinos? Okay. You both for 15? If I took both, both for 15, would you do that? Yeah, but it's a, no. no. That's fine. Yeah. That's quite cool. Then it's in there. Should there be the gaps up here? I don't know. Oh. I don't know if there should be gaps, but then there might be gaps. Besson and Co. I mean, it doesn't look in the best of conditions, so it is a bit. It's old, I suppose. Besson and Co. Let's take a picture. Should it look like that? Oh yeah, it should be missing ones. I think. How much are the night like, trainers? Ray, how much are the trainers? Eight pounds. Eight, okay. I don't know what to unpack. Are we doing for five? Yeah, I'll take five. Yeah, I'll take them then, please. There you go. Five? Cool, thank you. Thanks, see ya. Morning, George. Morning, you right? Yeah, good tricks. First of the day. It's not amazing, but Nike. Um, oh, I got to remember the number. The 95s, aren't they? Women's size five. White, just obviously a bit scuffed, but fiver standard to get them all going. In the illegal yellow IKEA bag. Call the police. Yeah, price-wise, 2025. 20, Hopefully they scrub up well. Mission speakers, eh? Oh no, 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 no. In fact, I'll show you. And the speakers, the sub, has some crack into the foam in it. Might be alright, but big old electronic. Look at that, that's cool. Panel lens coming off. Looks like it might have been stored in like a damp area. FS2. Yeah, the uh, foamy bit, yeah. I know where he's got these from. Come from a recycling centre. So they could well be absolutely knackered. I'm going to leave them. Not worth the risk fussy with electronics this year, so big speakers with some degrade into the foam. But again, could be fine, but I don't want to take the risk today. Oh, Ooh, nearly. Yeah. <laughs> Try to go out this side. <laughs> don't know if it's going to stay up. <laughs> but I'm letting go now. There we go. Oh. <laughs> No almost. <laughs> it's not boots out without a rail falling over, is it? Get to this stage every boots out and I think, oh, it's really slow. Got one I am, but we're still early days. Got to be a bit patient, just wait for it. The pickups will come, I'm sure. This new tags. Made in England, XL jacket. It's not branded, but it's cheap. I got 
These two from over there and that one that yeah, side. No, there's no That's right. <laughs> um, uh, £3 for that. Three, yeah. Yep. Uh, two for that. Uh, so five. Six for that. Okay, so eleven. Eleven for now. Can you round it to ten? Yeah. Make well, it easy. We'll do eleven for now. That's okay. That's right. Um yeah, got it. Yeah. There's eleven. Thank, Thank, Thank you. That's right. Three items, eleven pounds, not bad. That's cool. Hold on to that. Super Bowl. Patriots. By Reebok. Brady on the back. Is it? Oof. Oh, bloody hell, I've just seen the price. £80. Jeez. Put that back. Bad deal. 30 quid to change, George. For both? Yeah. Okay. I think these might be new, you know? Uh, I can have a look. Yeah. They are new. I got a load of them. Oh, softball. That's cool. They got me worse than done. I'll score. Some of them. Off. Okay. How much are they? They're fine. This gentleman's looking fast. Uh, I was going to get these ones separately. Right. If that's all right, so you can look at them in front. Uh, the ten of them, I think. We do 30 all together, Barry? I can't really jump. No? A score and a score, 40 after. Okay. Uh, split it, 35? Go on. Okay. Yeah? Done. There you go. Anyone want a game? <laughs> 20, 35. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Appreciate that. Back to the car for the first car load. So, just then, from my electronics guy, my hi fi guy, um, didn't get any hi fi <laughs> or electronics, but got a uh, Airwalk uh, Pro inline skates, they had the price on them, originally 100 quid. I don't think they're new, but they've been well looked after, if they're not. Oh, hello. Uh, is that new? They look new to me. Still got a tag on. Awesome. Yeah, adult size, didn't clock the size actually. Oh yeah, size 9, wicked. Yeah, UK 9. Pro inline skates, Airwalk, new inbox. Oh, so you wanted 20 and then 20 for one, two, three, four, five. Was it five? I swear I had five. I've already dropped one. I swear I had five of these, but did I have five? I can't remember now. I thought I had five. There's four here. I probably dropped one. Or was just four anyway? But yeah, Rawlins. So yeah, five each and 20, but got the lot for 35. So we say 15 on these, I say 20 on the skates. Nice and easy. Rawlins, Rawlins, Rawlins. So good brand. Oh, and a free uh, softball as well. What's this one? Cooper. I'm not sure on that one. Yeah, can't go wrong. Right, unloaded. Let's go again. So it is smaller this week. The sun is up, basically. Or it's hiding behind the clouds, but it's up. And uh, yeah, not the best of size boots that's like a third of the field to maximum capacity so there's a turnout but we've got open empty space we'll keep going it's not a size that matters how much you know is How much on the boots? Uh, which one do you ask? Are the brown ones or the tenner by themselves? Ten, how about the black ones? Uh, a couple of quid. Okay. Five, I've pulled out a five for a pair for them. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Rectangular. Five each on the western boots. Yeah, these are obviously branded. We've got a Wrangler. A proper like cowboy Texan type boots. He was asking 10 and then the other guy came around and just said five each. So I took a chance on the black ones as well. Move over, move oh. over. <laughs> it's a nice retro looking Jimmy Savile piece, eh? Oh! That's proper Jimmy <laughs> Savile, isn't it? Hang on, let's have a look. Can't get off the hanger, there we go. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> <That's proper retro. laughs> What's their prices like, do you know? Ah, two. 
Ja, har du inte? Rich. Det är large, made in USA. Chile, please. Har du inte den? Adidas. Vad är det? Basketball. Det är säkert... Like a... Har du inte det? Oh, another wool rich. Rich. Knit. Hold on to that one. Are they all two pound each in this row, is it? Yeah. yeah. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Amazing. Cool. I got more to come out as well. Yeah. Cool. Oh, lots of money there. The barbers. Barber size eight, but I don't really put that in my shop. How much on the hat? 20p. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the shirts as well. Uh, they're 20p. I got three there. That's great, thank you. Cheers. Jeez, bargain. It's got three items for 50p. Nice. Fat Willie's hat. A couple of silk shirts, like really cool retro patterns for the beach. Or for summer at least, so. Perfect. How much on the trainers? Seven. Seven, okay. How about, are they seven as well? Or, yeah. yeah. Three, those are seven. Okay. They're nice. Seven quid. I'll get those ones, yeah. please. Yeah. That's great, thank you. Thanks. Bradley of London, so they normally make bags, but can have some shoes. How much on the trainers there? Uh, trainers? Well, I'm also trying to over here. Black and white ones. Quite quick, then, like. Three quid, yeah. Yeah, I'll get those, please. Not sure what the resale value is, but yeah, Radley, London. The little Scotty dog, I believe. Trainers, women, size five, perfect. Really nice condition. Oh, there you go, little dog on the back. Wicked. Nice find for three pounds. Unloading time again. Sort of shoes and clothing heavy today. Obviously, I'm here for everything, but. This is what I find. Yeah, them red days, well happy with them. Should be 20, 25 quid. Did look them up while I was walking around. Paul Smith's for seven, size nine. Perfect size for men. Hopefully 35 to 45, I'd like to think of them. Silk shirts for 20p, 20p. CNA, 100% silk, vintage. Look at that, wicked. Obviously I haven't checked for holes or anything like that. They're 20p, but this is my favorite one. What's this one? Cocoon, Simply Silk, not heard of the brand, but vintage, and look at that print. <laughs> that is wicked. Silk shirt for 20p. And then, in that same deal, for 10p, 20p, 20p, 10p, Fat Willie's Surf Shack beanie. Even that on its own, it's like 15 pound on eBay, which is nice. And two pound each. Got Adidas softball, like, pullover. Adidas basketball, like, um, Knitted gilet type thing, that sweater. Bit of Woolrich, nice to see, size medium, knitted. Two pound, bargain. Another Woolrich, made in USA, women's, really nice. Yeah, fleece gilet, two pound again, bargain. Bit of uh, <laughs> the BBC presenter that shall not be named, <laughs> that kind of style. But still vintage lotto, take down the shoulder, two pound. And then the Western boots, nice lot of good, well priced stuff here. But yeah, that was round two. So hopefully, so I can one more round, round three, and then that'll be the birthday boot sale sorted. Right, reloaded the bag. Let's go for the hat trick. Looks knackered. Oh my god. display use that's no good i was gonna still buy it even though it's knackered because i've got one on display myself a faulty one a uh, trip 35 they're called olympus trip 35 but the door didn't even stay on so it's no good for blooming display either <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, 
Looks like it does do DVD to VHS. How much on the DVD? It's a, a 10 hour, but it's spares or repair. Okay. It's, it's not working, but if you've got the car. Yeah, no worries. Damn. This is honest. Makes a change. If it's had a tenner, didn't say anything else, I would have took that, but swears repairs, again, being fussy. Nah, need it working really for the big profit. It's different. The Women's PGA Championship and Rafi Polo Golf. Two pound rail, we'll come back. That's cool. Bit of a, what's this? Is that a kid size? Kid size LA Galaxy back on the back? No. So again, all spent up, spent every bit of money even the shrapnel. So yeah, went back to that two pound rail and yeah, that's where I spent the rest of my money. So perfect for whatnot, nice and cheap, cool stuff. Yeah, most of this will be a whatnot anyway. I'm not sure about this one, but this one was the only one that was a fiver. She had it out separate, but five pounds, still a bargain, really cool. It's like a um, hunting jacket. It's a Columbia sportswear, size men's medium. But it's like a camo and then it's all sort of, um, holy sort of thing <laughs> but um yeah like hunting wear which is really cool five pound uh yeah don't know if that's for whatnot there's a nice pocket there as well with columbia hit but i just thought that's really unique not seen anything like that from columbia before so i thought worth a pint out of fiver along with all this this was all two pound each from now on so this one i think i did show this one but this is women's pga tour made by ralph and then hit on the back two quid perfect for the sports show which is coming friday i don't know when this is out but it might have already been the women's pga championship how cool is that all embroidered nice like halfway button by ralph uh, the size was a women's medium nine pounds eleven pounds here comes the snipes three two one any more bids stopping at eleven Hammer down. This was really cool. This might be worth the most out of this bundle, potentially. Uh, where is it? Oh no, I picked up the wrong thing. I picked up the wrong thing. No! There's two corduroy dresses. There's this green one. The one I was supposed to get was the blue one, the navy blue. It had Winnie the Pooh on it. No, no, no! Balls! <laughs> This one's made in Canada, two pound corduroy dress. That's not, ah, oh, damn. Have I not got any more money? Oh no, you're joking. I picked up the wrong thing. I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to go back, one second. Right, I'm back, I'm back. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, where I was looking, there's two like cooled dresses next to each other. That's what I was picking them. I went back for this one, but I picked up the green one instead of the blue one. <laughs> Took it back to that one I just showed you, made in Canada, swapped it for the one that I was supposed to get. And thank God it was still there. It's so, so cool. Here we go. Blue corduroy. Look at this embroidery. Winnie the Pooh with Tigger. It's on the buttons, Pooh. And then there's the back kit there. It's like a corduroy dress, navy blue. Oh my God, that was lucky. <laughs> I even said this might be worth the most. Yeah, Pooh company. So I think that's 90s. Uh, there's like copyright stuff, but there's no year on it. And I'm not sure, if, it might be for kids, like large kids. It's quite big. I'm pretty sure that would fit a small women's. But um, yeah, again, two pound. Ooh, lucky it's still there. People in America, like looking it up, some people have been getting sort of embroidered similar stuff for like 40 quid. So like 50 US dollars or whatever that is. So yeah, for two pound, should fit a small women's. Whack that on whatnot, I reckon. Yeah, that's really, really cool. That's probably my favorite item. So yeah, got the cool hunting Ralph for two pounds and recovered. Whew. Luckily she was nice. Yeah, I was talking to her for a while. She was really nice. So that swapperoo or switcheroo was no problem. No scam involved at all. She knew which uh, one I had anyway, so that's fine. Jeez, that was close. Anyway, nice whatnot fodder. Sleeveless umbro with hood <laughs> yeah again two pounds nice like a uh, 3d fleece type effect so that's cool um they had quite a lot of wool rich which is good to find so i picked that up as well two pound uh men's medium I'm pretty sure it's 100 percent cotton yeah 100 percent cotton just a wool rich uh men's shirt pocket yeah 
It's more the name on it that will carry the price. Talking of Woolwich, uh, these were 150. Literally, I had £1.50 left in my bum bag, and because I bought a lot, she took the £1.50. Woolwich, uh, women's like outdoor type, like wide leg, crop trousers. Oh, yeah, and then this massive thing. <laughs> this is massive. I wasn't sure if it was like a dressing gown to start, but it's like more of a robe, cloak type thing. So it's to wear outside, but this is LL Bean. Yeah, women's medium regular, made in Mexico. But it's, um, yeah, it's a fleece with like a blazer type collar and it goes all the way down. I'm pretty sure that's like ankle length. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like an outdoor fleece type thing. But, um, yeah, LL Bean, massive, two pounds. So yeah, took a pun on that. Yeah, and that's me all done. Birthday boot sale, done and dusted, 100 pound, all gone. Got a nice lot, lots of stuff for the whatnot shows. And then obviously a few bits for eBay, inline skates and whatever else. Oh, Paul Smith trainers, that was good. Radley trainers. Yeah, really, really pleased with how today's gone. Not the best, not the worst. Nice little stuff to flip during the week. Nice quick flips. Recharge the bum bag, ready to go again next weekend.